and welcome to our final video review session with Marley, week, end of week four. Um, we've come a long way. We just finished a nice uh, off-leash hike up in the headlands. Uh, you know, she really has done a great job sort of acclimating and coming out of her shell, um, becoming more responsive. We still have a way to go. She gets distracted. But a lot of that is just also age, you know, she, her attention span when she gets, um, you know, a scent or something like that is, uh, can, it can be distracting for her, but you know, we find that a lot of, a lot of the time till we get to adulthood with these dogs, which could really for a lot of dogs is not between the ages of two and three. So this foundation that she has, I think is, is really solid. And I would continue on with the same things we've been working on. Just hammer home all of the skills, which are really quickly gonna review. Um, you've got your backup videos from the last four weeks. But again, remember we started with name game. Ready, go find it. Oh no, that one went too far. Hi! So now this is hard because she's got a treat stuck under the thing. Hop, hop, hop. Yes, come. Good job. Yes. So we're outside. Lots of distractions here. Come here, pup pup. Good girl. Good girl. Very nice. Ready? Go find it. Marley, come. Yes. That nice, happy, bouncy recall, which we love. Again, rules for recall would uh, be make sure you get eye contact first. As soon as you get that eye contact from name game, you, then you're going to use your marker word yes. And then as she comes to you, you can be cheering her on, not repeating your recall word come, but telling her what a good job she's doing to build speed and enthusiasm. Ready? Go we'll find it. Marley, come. Yes, good girl. And then as she gets to you, she can get her rewards. Okay. And then we also have our hand targeting as another method to get the puppy more focused. Bye. Touch. Touch. Build in to do multiple touches for one treat. Good job. Marley, sit. Good. Yesterday we did a lot of work with our down and not moving. Come here. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, I know. That's your favorite trick, isn't it? down okay now if she offers a behavior that's not what she wants to keep going through and do center through my legs down yes very nice a lot of dogs will revert to behaviors that are they're really easy and they practice the most but if she starts to offer that don't let her do it make sure she follows through with the cue that you have given her and that ah, Okay, in this case, it's down, but we also don't want her to get up until you've given her a release word. Down. Nice. Good job. We're building on length of time for this. Good job. Break! Good girl. Good girl. Very nice. Great, right, and then we had also worked on introducing the leave it which i gave you a little bit of a brief video of the other day where we're just working on the it's your choice game so we've got our fistful of food oops my bad So man, remember, it's your choice. It's just you have to choose not to steal the treats. Yes. And then you get a yes. And if the dog offers another behavior, like down, you can put treats on the ground, cover them with your hand. A little bit further away in the beginning. Yes. Okay, 
okay when the dog gets up that's fine if they give up that's okay we're just going to keep covering these until we can uncover them stand up and use my foot to cover these. Yes. Okay, so if she doesn't bend down to steal one, I'm going to tell her, yes, good job. And then she gets rewarded from me. Yes, good. And then at this point, we could really start using the word leave it when she's, if I point these out, leave it. Yes. Very nice. And she doesn't go for it? Excellent job. Excellent job. All right, break. Good girl. Good girl. All right, guys. So um, that wraps up our four week session. We are really proud of Marley and how far she has come. And we look forward to hearing about her progress. Take care.